Hi guys, um, maybe this is going to be part two of the February energetic update. Um, I have already, in, in the previous video, um, and I, I, I ask that you go back and watch that first, um, and I will do my best to put the link within this video as well, but, um, you know, I am in alignment with my purpose. I am in alignment with um, with the frequency of love. Um, and I am awake to um, truth and purpose. And you may be waking up because not only is February a part of a major shift in an awakening process, but this entire year will be. And um, you will probably begin to notice that as you begin to become more aware of um, the illusions or your pain, um, things outside of you, um, and how you feel um, inwardly, and how much now you want to move now with what your spirit is telling you, you'll begin to notice that things begin to kind of, in a sense, want to collapse or more chaos will come into your life. One, this is how you know that what you are trying to accomplish in your life is about to take place. What you are trying to manifest in your life is trying to take place. But in order to do so, you have to release these last things that is within you. So, because of this week being a part of um, a major detox week, a major um, week of intense um, chaos again in your life, I am already seeing it. Um, and this isn't really supposed to be taking place until um, about this weekend and into next week really but um, people who are more sensitive or more aware more in alignment with these energies you begin to feel it um, a few days prior to um, even a week prior to what's going to take place so I had an occurrence yesterday and I have had it again today um, the same thing that I was feeling yesterday just arose no more than 30 minutes ago within me um, and something else has taken place within me. Um, a part of my journey and my purpose here is um, if you don't know my living situation is that I do take care of uh, my mother-in-law who now suffers from Alzheimer's. This has been an area that I have to have huge growth in um, and it took place just now my my awareness and I have sensed this for a very long time especially since I began to wake up that this is an area I need to really fix I need to correct and I think I did it I just had my breakthrough downstairs and um, it's a little emotional for me right now because of it you know my mother-in-law is the type of um, individual with her Alzheimer's complications of um, having severe accidents everywhere and just being unclean. Um, you know, and this is not to make her out to be a bad person. I want you just to understand this situation and how I came across, how I need to um, fix how I am feeling inside. She. Um, will take clean clothes and then try to clean up. If she cleans up areas, you know, most of the time it's just left there. So, um, and again, I know it's part of her, her illness. Um, but it's, here she is, an adult. And I understand we all will age and then we will all go back to our childlike self. So something today I was going in there and doing what I had to do and a little bit of anger came in and I was like, gosh darn it, 
look, she hid these dirty clothes over here, you know, and now, you know, it's just the smell and I have to clean up and do more laundry and I can't get caught up because I'm always doing, you know, her laundry and all of those thoughts and emotions came and then I, I shifted to thinking of my granddaughter who is a baby who does the same thing. I mean, she doesn't, you know, um, clean up herself because she doesn't have that capability, but, you know, she is a little human being who can't do anything for herself yet. And um, she relies on the people around her to help her and lead her in her proper way of living. And I, I knew that I have to do this for my, my mother-in-law um, because she is her childlike self in her adult form now and um, I instantly removed my anger and my bitterness towards this situation. Um, this has been a major issue for me. For my entire marriage has been my mother-in-law. Um, her animosity towards me, her illness has always been existent really um, throughout my marriage, but it has been um, her other mental illness that was more of an issue before, before now it manifested into um, full-blown Alzheimer's. But um, so this has been the last phases of what I have to do to still move forward with who I am and my purpose and fulfilling it. And I'm not saying I'm not going to have other situations arise. I will always be learning and growing and learning from my past mistakes and healing from brokenness. Um, that is a natural process of everything. But now I am aware even more so with um, great compassion for what took place. And when you know you have healed from it, is when you can actually um, talk yourself out of that emotion. When you can talk yourself down from the ledge, if you will, from committing suicide, jumping off of the building, um, or being anger, angry and bitter, then you know that you have healed from it and that you can shift now into always reflecting the emotion of love. And again, it's still, it may still be difficult even after you have had that revelation. Uh, but now you have more power within yourself to continuously move. Um, so, and my point for this though is that I have done a lot in my journey with healing and um, growing and understanding um, that, but that doesn't mean that I'm not going to have things come up. It just means that I don't fall for the trap again. I don't fall for my past mistakes, my past emotions, and get stuck back into that rabbit hole of being drained and depleted and in the darkness again. I can crawl back out safely into the light. That's the difference. Uh, and as you begin to master your thought process and your emotional state, um, you begin to master at your own life. Um, and you're always growing and always opening up another door. So I just want to take the time to let you in on parts of my journey again. Um, because as I tell you about my journey and how I have come to learn from it, I am expressing to you how you can do it in your own life. And I'm allowing you to see your own darkness and turn it into light to be your best self. Um, so we might not have the same situations in life, yet some of us might have similarities, but we all have one goal, to grow 
to heal and to reflect the image of our perfectness in love. This is Christy. Love, health, and healing your way. I am bringing purpose to your life. Take care.